The tale of the tape. James Gallagher and Cal Eleanor. The height is the key. At least Eleanor hopes so. Six foot against five eight. The weight is over, folks. Let's get to our cage announcer, Craig Stephen. Well, once again, a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live on Channel 5 and around the world. We are coming to you from the Allianz Cloud here in Milan, Italy, and we are inside the Bellator cage with the main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in the bantamweight division. Sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulation, Chairman James Gessner, Tribe Chief Lynn Malerba, the President of Sport and Entertainment, Mr. Tom Cantone, and Director Mike Mazzulli. At cage side, our three scoring judges are Jaron Vallel, Douglas Crosby, and Salvatore D'Amato. And so, to our viewers joining us live on Channel 5 and around the world, the officials are ready. The fighters are ready. It's time to introduce the main event. Firstly in the blue corner, standing six foot tall and weighing in at 135.2 pounds. His professional record, eight wins, two defeats, with all eight inside the distance, and this fighter has never been stopped. Fighting out of Sunderland, England, he is the Sunderland Strangler, Cal Pacino Eleanor. And across the cage in the red corner, standing five foot eight and weighing in at 136 pounds even. His record, an excellent one. 10 wins, only one defeat, with eight big wins coming inside the distance. He was born in Straban. He fights out of Dublin, Ireland. He is James the Strabanimal Gallagher. Now to give instructions to the fighters, a referee from Canada, Todd Anderson. Gentlemen, we own the rules and back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you wish to touch gloves, do so now. All day. Let's do it. Step back. That weird mixture of respect and disdain. It is the Jimmy Show. It is Cal Eleanor trying to make a show of his own. Gallagher in the red gloves, Eleanor in the blue, as if you didn't know already. And we're finally underway. It is going to happen. Both guys promised they would be better everywhere. That's just what made this such a fun fight to look at. The big question for me is, what happens when it gets down to the grappling and the BJJ? Gallagher, the great submission artist. Straight away, he goes for the legs, goes for the takedown. Beautiful stuff. Just excellent penetration there on the side. Yeah, he came in and he got the double leg takedown. It seemed that he wanted to stand a little bit bladed at first. I didn't see that shot coming. You know what? I don't think Cal Eleanor did either. Says he's the most ring-savvy fighter in the division. Gallagher, his cage management is just sensational. And a back take just like that. He was straight up vocal. He said, look, I could be Cal Eleanor's coach. The gap, that gap in jiu-jitsu was so big. And I'm going to show it. He's got the body triangle. Beautiful control here so far. He said I could coach him around the cage, didn't he? And at the moment, well, he started wonderfully well here, Gallagher. Cal Eleanor wants to try to work him to the side of the lock, I would think, to relieve the pressure here, but Gallagher is doing the right thing of trying to work some openings for that choke. The body triangle is just a great way to control this position because it's a lot more difficult for the guy to shake you off. He's turning in to get that left hand out of the way so he can get into that choke position here, Gallagher. Short little punches and elbows here. Again, nothing that's going to stop a fight, but it is going to open up the flow of those transitions, the sequences, if you will, for him to get this choke. 
the control of Gallagher is just immense here. He's been in control almost right from the start. How deep has he got it here, Gallagher? Good work here from Cal Eleanor to try to push on the bottom of the elbow to relieve what was ostensibly a crank. It wasn't underneath the chin, but I'm telling you, James has swapped up the choking arm. This one looks a little bit better. Eleanor trying to stay calm and again defends it. And at higher levels in jiu-jitsu, we often see the RNC finished in that fashion. You can get good finishes even when the choking arm isn't completely underneath the chin. Yeah, that jaw pressure can do it, can't it? Sure, that and of course the constriction pressure from the sides of the arms around the side of the neck. It all works together. So far, Gala has done just what he promised. Says he was going to drain all Eleanor's energy. James sitting here in two on one. Nice and tight. Everything's tight. The triangle, his position to the back when he goes for the squeeze where his head is. Cal tried to work an escape and very smart from James to actually hook around underneath that shoulder and pull him back to the mat where he's going to have a cleaner attempt at getting the choke on. Eight of his wins by submission. All of those by choke. And you heard John Cavanaugh saying, track him. That is to say, keep the body triangle at the right place. Great find in with the left to make sure you stay with him as he tries to escape. The last thing you want to do is lose the position. Just technically excellent this from Gallagher. Looks for the favored RNC again. Cal again pushes up on the elbow, relieves the pressure from the crank. Cal's a survivor, though, and you know what? In the MMA game, if he can escape from this, he could get some good stuff going. Oh, that looks a little bit better here. It looks like he may have that choke on a little bit better. Gallagher looking for the finish here in the first round. Eleanor's oh, under oh, pressure. Gallagher thinks he's got it, and he has. The Jimmy Show rocks into Milan with a round one finish. He was too good. He was everything that he said he was going to be. And now he's tied for third with the most submissions ever in Bellator. Six in all. James Gallagher moves on and moves on. And who knows where he'll end up. He is something so special. Both guys promised they were going to be better on the ground. It wasn't even close. James Gallagher got the back. Let's take a look at it here. On the feet, standing nice and long. It looked like he wanted to kickbox, but it was all an illusion. Kalinor kicked. James went in for the double, got him down. And Cal, looking to stand up, gave up the back. And look at this back take. Just gorgeous. James, with the over-under, rolls him right into it. One hook, then the second and then converting to the body triangle, he never let that go, he stayed with it. Several choke attempts, and for sure, Cal Eleanor did his best to defend. He got out a couple of times, but like quicksand, it was all over in the first round. James Gallagher, after multiple attempts, gets the rear naked choke in. You see the full figure four there, the arm underneath the chin, Cal Eleanor holding on, but only one choice, and it's a tap. Beautiful win here for James Gallagher tonight. What a performance. And after he said, you know, that emotions got the better of him against Ricky Bandejas, he was ice cool in there, as he has been ever since. If you make the promises, however you make them, and you deliver, people will keep listening next time. Following his career so far has been such a thrill. And he just keeps doing it. Keeps providing, keeps performing, keeps winning. Let's make it official now with Craig.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, here inside the Bellator cage, the end comes four minutes, 31 seconds of round number one, when referee Todd Anderson stops the contest. The winner by submission, rear naked choke, the strap animal, James Gallagher. They'd be on their feet chanting his name. We can hear what Jimmy has to say. Let's get to Marloose. I'm very sorry to hear, and I'm glad that I got James. you. James, I'm standing here with the winner, James Gallagher. Please stand over here, James. Congratulations on a big win. Thanks. Still fresh as a daisy. Yeah. Prepared for 100%. I come in here the best I've ever been. I didn't talk. For the only time they say it's all talk, it's all talk. I've had me mouth shut for months, and I still come in and do. Silence to the whole fucking division. Silence. Is there anyone you want to fight next? Them all. Give me anyone, everyone, and a big bag of money, and I'll fight any fucking one of them. It was a very methodical win. Can you talk me through it? I'm too smart. I'm too smart for them. And where I come from, back in Shirvan, I'm the toughest motherfucker in the whole thing. And no one can stop me. I'm too smart. And when I want to turn it on and dog them, I can do it all. Do every fucking bit of it. And I'm just extremely proud of myself. I've worked hard. I'm the third main event. I'm 23 years old. Everyone counts me out. But I count myself in every fucking time, and that's all that matters, isn't it? <clears throat> Congratulations on a very big win. Hope Thanks to very see you much. Soon. Give me that belt. It's mine. Thanks. Well, there's the message from James Gallagher.